G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, today is 34 degrees, so I've got my singlet on, uh, I've got my white shoulder caps hanging out, um, hopefully the shoulder caps disappear shortly. Um, I actually think you might get try and get some Rumble's Fish Room singlets as well as shirts, because in summer I don't wear shirts at all pretty much, just singlets. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about. Alright, so today, the Africans are going. Um, I'm I'm a little bit sad, but this is going to look wicked with discus. Um, I think I'm going to go. One, obviously, it's going to go automatic water changes, and I think I'm just going to really stock it, like pro maybe fifteen discus in there. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, they've got to go. The only thing that's not going is there's there's one marble peacock male in there. Uh I don't think it's that one. There's another one down there somewhere. It might be that one. It's just not showing much color at the moment. I'm actually going to keep that one. And I've, I'm going to throw in a couple of different marbles. Just because that marble I've been planning to selectively breed for months. So um, there'll still be marble males included in the pack. But not that one. Um, the other thing is the two Malawi hawks are coming out. And I've got one in the shed, which is guaranteed male that I'm putting in. Um, basically, those they weren't included in the pack either. Um, and I'm, I think that one's male, but I can't be sure. And the guy who's buying the fish wants strictly males. So I'm not going to put that one in the pack. Um, what else? That's it. Everything else is going. Um, and then I've got to make up some more packs. Um, basically, I advertised a couple of packs on Gumtree and he also wants them. Um, I'm not sure. Did I just say to you guys? So Jason Sinclair actually organized the sale for me, um, Perth Cichlids. It's one of his contacts. And um, I'm going to give Jason a, a bag of free fish for doing that for me because he's not making any money off it. Um, but we are meeting at Jason's house because the guy lives out in the hills and um, he said he would prefer to meet at Jason's rather than come here. So I'm happy to do that. Um, I'm going to miss this guy, the little Malot. Um, but yeah, what do you do? I've got a whole colony of them, so why would I miss one, I guess? Alright, so I'm going to label buckets up first. Alright, so... I've labelled up the buckets guys, Benga, two four packs, a five pack, Star, Baku Chromis and a Malawi Hawk. Um, the reason there's two four packs and a five pack, the five pack I accidentally advertised a pack which was meant to say four at five centimetres, but I dyslexic me wrote five at four centimetres. So I stuck to my word, I'm doing one, I'm doing one five pack. And then he wanted two more packs, so I said I'd do two four packs. So I'm not sure how I'm going to film this. I might, I might just do a hyperlapse. So I thought I'd do a voiceover for the hyperlapse instead of a bit of shitty music. Um, tell me, let me know what you guys think. Whether you prefer a bit of talking, or you actually do like the shitty music that plays. So. Um, at, it started off alright, um, I was catching males, I actually sold quite a few fish this weekend and my, my, I went from way too many fry to struggling to find males, so if you noticed just then I was actually pulling a benga out of um, my breeder tank, a young male that I had in there, and then at one stage here, where is it, there, you'll see, oh that went fast really fast didn't it, in that split second, oh there we go, I'm getting a um, code blue male out of the actual breeders tank as well um, this guy got more than he bargained for I uh, even threw a protomelis hate in one of the four packs which is not meant to be in the four packs considering they're only sixty dollars each alright so now it's time to pull this tank apart so I've got my hundred litre esky for the limestone PS Anyone wants to buy the limestone, I am going to sell the limestone and the substrate together. Um, like the lights, eight, the lights four feet up, and it's going to be real handy for this because normally when I do, pull the tank apart, you got to take the light off, and it's dark trying to catch the fish. 
but this should work well. Um, like I said before, I swapped one of the hawks out. I'm taking them two out, and I'm taking one of the um, marble peacocks out. Now, I did say that there's three juveniles in the pack, and it's one, two, three. The, oh no, hang on. Uh, a Benga, a Marble, and a uh, Code Blue. Um, there is actually four juveniles in there. I said three because I want to keep that one. Um, I'm telling you guys on the vlog. Uh, also, I've got, like, if the guy watches the video, I actually don't know who it is. So if he does watch the video, he knows I never included them in the pack. Unfortunately, he never came here. So I couldn't actually explain that to him. But. I've just been fully transparent in the video so that way everyone knows I'm not ripping this guy off. So ripping the limestone out was a mission in itself. Um, I think that took me just as long as catching the fish. So funny story, I, I actually advertised the limestone on Gumtree this afternoon and I wrote uh, 100 kilos of limestone and 25 kilos of argonite um, substrate. and me and Ange went to pick up the uh, esky you can see at the bottom of the screen there and the two of us couldn't even lift it. I could just pick it up, she couldn't pick it up at all. I had to pull rocks out of it so it was well, it's way over 100 kilos. I actually really want to weigh it and see what it really is but that, that both of them together are on Gumtree for $90 if anybody's interested. It's a pretty nice um, set of limestone. Alright, so the tank's empty. Now we've got to, um, i got to take the Malari Hawks to the shed, um, and the one marble, and then we're ready to load the car. I don't know what the time is because I'm filming. Uh, one o'clock on the dot. I timed that perfectly. I want to leave at 20 past, so we're doing good. Alright, so we bucketed up, um, got all the packs there. Uh, I've got the display tank there. I've got an air pump on it. Shout outs to Brett for the air pump. I don't think it's really a necessity to go to Midland, but Brett gave me that air pump and it was already plumbed into the lid, so I thought I might as well just turn it on. What's the harm in a bit of oxygen? Um, now, I don't have much water in these. People get a bit mistaken by how much water they think fish actually need to transport, but they don't need a great deal of water. I've put a cable tie so they won't fall over. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll put them in the boot or the back seat. I'm kind of thinking back seats or... I might put them in the boot but put the back seat down so the air conditioning gets in the back a bit because it is 34 degrees today. So we'll do that. Alright guys, so we're at um, Perth Cichlids now dropping the fish off. Um, on his channel we're going to go through what fish are here, the whole lot. So if you want to actually see all the fish and me pulling them out and naming them, jump over to his channel and have a look because I'm not going to show that on my channel. Alright, so we've got some empty buckets. Fish are all gone. Cash is in my wallet. Now we can get our... It's probably all gone but the money. Uh, we've got to buy aqua soil. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if I'm going to go aqua soil or pH neutral gravel, black gravel and just do like lotus on the on driftwood instead of actually plants in water but anyway i'm rambling that's not what i hear about so we're looking at i'm looking at um jason's fish and um he sells these packs for fifty dollars each for 15 fish and he advertises them at two centimeters but if it's pretty good value like these two guys here are, f are four and a half centimeters um there's only like there's one two there's four fish in there that are two centimeters, but these are I've I've never seen Jason's pack in person, and they're actually way better value than I was expecting. I was expecting a group of all two centimeters. So if you're ever up this way, grab a pack off him, um, and they're like, they're a really good mix of fish. Um, one thing with Jason is he he's got more variety than me at the moment, um, because a lot of my breeders are still young. Even though I've got 16 breeding colonies, I don't have 16, but 16 groups of fry available. And then I've also got the fish that I'm hoarding that I don't sell because um, they're my favourites and I keep like 100 fry at a time. Um, there's another one there that's sold. I don't know if this guy sold. 
Um, really nice dragon blood. I don't think he's going to turn around. Um, I've, I've just spotted Jason's um, marble peacock colony. I'm definitely going to have to grab some uh, fry off him. So, even though like my, I love my male, but my females don't colour up, like, she's going to hide now. There's a female with a mouthful in there, which you can't see. Uh, trust me, she's got she's colour. Um, so she's so showing quite a lot of red, and that's a goal of mine, is to have females with colour. There she is. Um, so basically, if I bought them off, some fry of them off Jason, my plan would be to keep the females and breed them through my males. Um, what else has he got? There's a bit of everything down there. Um, I'm just having a total sticky bait, guys. Just helping myself. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. What are they? Um, starts with A. Golden and Dino, we call them. Yeah. They're pretty bright. Um, they're the same ones that I've got at home. The ones that I stripped the female from my in-laws display tank. And, uh, I'm not sure if they're hybrids or not. I'll probably, I'll never breed them. But, it was just an exciting experiment. Um, you guys know I love traveling in the car with eggs. It's a great hobby of mine. Um, dolphins, they're cool. Are they dolphins or sapphires? Dolphins. It's good ones. They got some good color on them. Um, dolphins, I had a colony like eight, eight or nine years ago. And um, I, I never sold one for I, I advertised them. And eight years ago... Oh, no, it wouldn't be eight. It would be five. Um, I couldn't move one. Like, $3 each. I couldn't sell any, but I don't know if Jason has the same trouble now. Um, they sell pretty good in the packs. Yeah, so... I love dolphins. They're a cool shape. Just a few oddballs down here. Oh, is that one of the golden maboona? Yeah, one of the parents. Beaten up boy there. <laughs> Good old Mabuna smashing each other. Um, for those of you who have seen at my house, I pretty much have to isolate at least one or two of my Mabunas a week to let them recover after attacking each other. Oh, this room's got light, so we'll be able to film a bit more, a bit easier. Um, these, this guy's awesome. So they're similar to the ones that I got the other day. Same, same, but different. Um, I can't remember the names of either of them. They're the Tetraspilum, that's the one. Um, wow, these guys are huge. The Venustus. I've already got myself enough Nivacromus. I don't need any more. Three colonies is enough. Oh, there's the adult dolphins. Man, they shine in the light. The camera, for some reason the camera doesn't pick up blue sheen very well. Like I've shown you guys before in the um, Marvel Peacocks, my boy is, is like almost all blue, but it, you can't see it in the camera. Um, Pseudotrophius Tanzania male. Uh, these are one of the first fish I actually bred um, back in the day. I just had a display tank and like two little um, two foot breeders and I had these guys and I had the um, the other ones with the, the blue body and the yellow tail can't think of the name um, I've, I've, I've thought about swapping out my cobalt blue for um, Tanzania Jacob Freeberg, he's cool alright we'll just have a quick glimpse over the rest because this video is going to be crazy long uh, another colony of the marbles. Um, marbles sell like crazy, so it's always good to have multiple colonies. Check this guy out. I really want more peacocks, but I don't trust myself to keep them in separate tanks when they're with as the fry. And the last thing you want to do is get peacock fry mixed up. BC10, they're one of my favourites, but it's a fish that I've never actually owned. Um, what's he a bicolor? Yeah. Uh, he's going to hide. This tank's got no light, so it's a bit hard. 
um, dragon bods. I really should have bought Jason all those females that I've got because they're no good to me now. Mind you, they are handy for the um, Foscos because they're a, di a, a dimmer fish at the moment. Look at him. That said no lights on the tank guy, he's cool. I just said guy, not guys. I meant guys. Alright, so this is one thing I really need to do. A dedicated tumbler tank. Um, you guys have seen me try to catch fish out of the tank. So A, that's the first problem, is catching the fish. And B is, um, I swear, as the tank has more stock in it, I get more fungus on some of the eggs. So... I think this is great what Jason's done here, a dedicated tank. And um, I really should do this. He's got all the tumblers labelled and keeps it in a notepad or on his phone what's in each one rather than, have you guys seen what I do, just sticky tape and a name and write on it. Um, it looks messy. This is much neater. Alright guys, so controversial white crane. Um, Jason has been doing... Um, food reviews so if you jump over to his channel he's actually feeding like 20 different foods and testing them all out but this is this is a peacock female right here that's insane i always knew white crane gave you your coloring but look at the fins i didn't realize it can like a female doesn't have a pointy top fin like that um that's just insane um there's another one there, but he's just pulled the filter out, so we've made a bit of a mess. I can't believe that. That's intense. Um, obviously, like $13.95, it's pretty expensive food. Um, I do actually have a tub at home, and the only reason I've got it is because if I mix up fry, when they're at like four centimeters, I can feed that for a couple of days and then separate the fry. Um, I bought it to try it on my display tank and all the electric yellows got black faces so I, I never used it again. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. I can't believe the fins. Any of you guys know who how to pick males and females, like, that will spin you out. That fin is just something else. I don't know how the hell it works. They reckon it actually says on it, like, um, no hormones somewhere, but I don't know. It's going to be something in there that is not good. So we've got one last section. It's IBC town. You guys know how much I love IBCs. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Um, well, there's nothing in that one. I don't even know. Jason's not in here with me, so he's not telling me what's in them. I'm just guessing. Um, I think he cleared a couple out in the last couple of days because he was messaging me telling me how hard it is to catch fish out of IBCs. I think he made up a few packs the other day. Those packs I was showing you earlier in the video. There's a couple in there. Um, and tub racks. Um, if you're thinking about doing racks but you can't afford it, these tubs are really cool. Um, I haven't done one personally, but I've thought about it, but I just don't have the room now. My room's already almost finished, but I would actually, I've, I would really consider these for fry. Um, I think I think he paid like under $20 each for each tub. Um, shipped to his door and just put the taps in them. So easy water changes. He just opens the tap and it drains to the tap. Um, he's got red, red top of the wonder there. Maybe I'll steal some of them off him one day. Uh, what else? Is there? Electric blues, bangers. Yeah, I, I think it's an affordable way to do it. And also, when I have, when I've got my flower horn fry in that plastic tub on the, on the, near the ground, um, you guys have seen it, the water actually is warmer than the glass tanks. I don't know why, whether it's like the plastic is a, um, insulator or something, but that tub near the ground there holds 28 degrees and most of the tanks in my room are more around 26 to 27. So, I don't know if there's any science behind that. Comment if you actually know the answer. Um, but yeah, I think they're 52 litres. Look, you can see a sticker back there. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. It's really cool of Jason to let me film the whole room too. Um, 
I really so one thing with me and Jason we've like worked together to keep different fish there's only like two I think two varieties of fish that we both breed and that's the marble peacocks and the star sapphires which oh, and I've got some Lawanda now but I don't know whether I'll keep them or sell them um, but the thing is if people want to buy fish off both of us we can offer a pack each and you could you can create a tank with like 30 different variety of fish by buying a pack off each of us um, and that was always our goal work together as breeders if if you got 10 breeders in Perth all breeding the same fish like how do you move the fish you know what I mean all right guys I'm gonna wrap the video up there don't forget to head over and check out Jason's channel um, I really appreciate him letting me do a walkthrough um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I've actually already filmed vi tomorrow's video. Um, I want to try and keep them one day ahead, just a little bit less stress on me. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.